All right. Well, I've been uh, super long overdue in getting an update on the Challenger. I apologize for that. Uh, explain the reasons why uh, coming up here in a bit. Uh, but update to where I'm at. I've got the Challenger, I'd say, in the 80% done stage, 80% to go. So I like to say. Uh, motor mounts are on. I've got the wiring run through the wing. Uh, motors are on. Props are on. Mounted. Um, and uh, the landing gear is all fixed. New disc brakes for uh, 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 Black Max disc brakes uh, are all plumbed and hooked up. Uh, and new tail surfaces are made. The vertical tail is installed. I need to get a few more parts for the horizontal tail. Uh, then I can be able to finish that up. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of small little things that I just need to go back and fix or replace uh, and uh, finish fixing up. Uh, I kind of reached a stopping point for a couple reasons. Uh, one, I, uh, so first of all, I'm not in the barn. I'm actually in what I jokingly call the mobile hangar. Uh, this is just a, I was able to get this uh, trailer from a local uh, trailer rental place. Uh, they were uh, uh, selling them for cheap, so I got it. Uh, still works fine as a trailer, but it fits perfectly for uh, fitting the Challenger in here. Long enough, it's a 20 foot trailer. Uh, v knows I could put a Challenger 2 in here. Uh, what I did is I rigged up some sort of mounts, uh, just some uh, wood, some uh, places for it to sit, and it'll get strapped down. Uh, so I can take the wings off and then plug them in and it holds them up and out of the way. I'm not like stacking on blankets or anything like that. Uh, so it's a really secure way of uh, uh, keeping the wings on. I don't have the ailerons on right now. Those are recovered and painted as well. Uh, I need to drill, uh, ma uh, match the uh, new hinges up and drill that install, but left enough room for it there. So that's where I'm at for the, for the Challenger. I haven't really done any work on it in the past, I don't know, three, four months. Uh, a couple reasons for that. The, the biggest one is uh, I wanted to finish my uh, pilot's license. I started getting my private pilot when I was 16, uh, never actually got done with it. Uh, and so I said, you know, I was gonna put everything else on back burner, get that done. I was hoping to have that done and before I did this video. Uh, my check ride was originally scheduled for early of February and then uh, we had one of the snowiest Februarys ever in here. Uh, so that got bumped and unfortunately because anyone who's tried to get their uh, pilot's license recently, uh, DPEs are in real demand. Uh, so it bumped out two months. So my check ride was moved to April 7th. Well, you know, uh, say uh, circumstances beyond my control have made it such that uh, uh, DPEs aren't doing, no, the FAA has recommended no check rides for DPEs, uh, I think since mid-March. So uh, we'll see how this uh, whole craziness goes and works out. Hopefully, you know, June, July time frame, I can get back up the air, get back to current and uh, get my check ride rescheduled but that's pushed things out probably a good six months. So um, once I found that out, I was uh, obviously uh, bummed because I was you know, so close, the written was passed, everything was done, all my hours knocked out, uh, but such is life. Um, so anyway, um, that's, that's one reason I have, I've been kind of long on time. The other thing is I've actually tried to decide what I want to do big picture. Uh, when I started with this project, to go back to the videos, um, I was planning on doing uh, two Tesla batteries to give me about 10 kilowatt hours of batteries. That would be 110 pounds. Uh, it was less than five gallons of batteries, uh, which I was equating to fuel. I've talked about this in a previous video, but the FAA uh, had a different interpretation, and I have to meet the 254 pound weight restriction. Uh, without batteries, so I mean that's, that's more stringent than a gas powered one because you can carry five gallons of fuel uh, and in addition to the 254 pounds. Here the FAA is saying with batteries, you have to be less than 254 pounds. So really trying to skimp and get all the weight down. Um, I think I can still do it. The problem is I can only fit about, uh, what, uh, about two and a half, three kilowatt hours of battery and still meet weight. Uh, that's obviously a lot lower amount of uh, 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 battery capacity, and that really decreases the usable range. And I was hoping to be up in the 10, 15, or 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes of, uh, uh, of range, but uh, if I can only carry that little batteries, it's gonna be essentially once around the pattern, uh, maybe twice, uh, which I still would like to do, but 
it's not nearly as rewarding uh, for a lot of work that uh, going into it um, to, uh, to just have that little usefulness. So I'm debating, uh, I still, uh, if I get my private pilot license, that opens things up. I, I could just register this as a home built. Uh, it's definitely 51% uh, uh, built by me. Um, <clears throat> but uh, then there's other limitations as far as you need to have a minimum of 30 minutes of fuel before you take off. Uh, I, these wings were picked with the ultralight wings, which have a, uh, a smaller ball uh, spar. Uh, what they did for the Challenger 1 non-ultralight version is they actually sleeved this and doubled up the wall thickness to get a much uh, higher um, uh, max gross weight. Well, I can do 500 pounds to this. So then I'm kind of painted into a corner there. Um, and so then that would mean, I can't just sleeve these after the fact, that would mean new wings. So uh, long-winded way of saying, I'm still trying to decide what I'm gonna do with this. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna take a little bit of break from the, from the Challenger and uh, come back to it. I, I will come back to it. It's just a matter of when I get around to it. Part of the thing with uh, building all my other projects, as you see, is if I run into a problem, I just hit it with a bigger hammer and uh, hopefully it works. You can do that when you're building a, uh, a race vehicle there, a track in a safe in, uh, environment if something goes wrong, I just pull over to the side. Um, can't do that with an airplane, so you have to be much more slower and methodical. That being said, I'm not gonna you know, uh, just say no more on it. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out the best way I can do it and still stay legal. Uh, I'm not one of those guys who goes, oh, it's a fat ultralight. You know, that's, in, in, in my opinion, that ends up being um, uh, pretty negative on the community, because then the FAA just wants to put more restrictions. So there it is, there's the update. Oh, the other thing uh, is I can't find a bunch of the videos. I had a bunch of videos where I showed went through step by step on how I did the covering, the system that I used, the painting, uh, the motor mounting, the wiring, uh, etc. And I can't seem to find those. So that's, uh, yeah, uh, completely on me. Um, and the, the other thing that's uh, made things a little bit more challenging is uh, the company that makes the motor controllers that I've seen, the Fox, Fox Unity made by, by Inertion. Uh, they started, they went radio silent uh, back in the fall. I was trying to get some uh, uh, software support from them and just about a week ago got the news that they are bankrupt and liquidating. Uh, so unfortunately that leaves me with all of those uh, Unity controllers uh, without any support. Hardware wise I've been really happy with them, but uh, Let's just say there's some interesting software quirks with it because they don't use the actual Benjamin Better um, BSC software. They use their own uh, own flavor of it, and they're not cross compatible. So that makes things a little more. Had I known that, I probably would have gone a different route to begin with. Um, but uh, such like so, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with motor controller. I got to figure out big picture what I'm going to do for as weight wise. Do I still try to stay out of the 254 pounds? Uh, just to go ahead and uh, up the gross weight and figure out how to do that with the, the thinner spars. So stay tuned.